Now I just want to say something about, about the news we received last night about the Senate parliamentarian. Last night's ruling was extremely disappointing. It saddened me, it frustrated me, it angered me. But make no mistake, the fight continues. Senate Democrats have prepared alternative proposals and will be holding additional meetings with the Senate parliamentarian in the coming days. I've been working closely with my colleagues in the Senate, including Judiciary Chairman Durbin, Senators Padilla, Menendez, Lujan, Cortez Masto, and we will continue our fight to find the best option available to provide immigrants with the chance at one day obtaining lawful residence here in America. The last year and a half, Madam President, have shown how vital our immigrants have been to keeping our economy going during a time of crisis. So many risk their lives on the front line of this pandemic, but remain excluded from the very same benefits that have kept millions of others secure during these hard times. We're short of workers from one end of America to the other. One of the reasons the Trump administration dramatically cut back on immigrants in this country. We need them. We need them in our labor force. We need them to continue American vitality. We need them because they're part of the American dream. It's estimated in my city by some that one third of the healthcare workers at the height of COVID who risked their lives for us were immigrants. Having a, a strong law that helps our immigrants is vital. The American people understand that fixing our broken immigration system is a moral imperative and an economic imperative. Immigration reform has been one of the most important causes of my time in the Senate, and I will not stop fighting to achieve it.